If you want the best paper to paint on with acrylic paints, then you definitely need this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Marie, and today we're gonna to be talking about which paper is best to paint on when you're painting with acrylics. So this video is kind of sort of a sequel to my video that I did last week because I talked all about paper and what would be the best paper to paint on with acrylics and what really sucks. But that video didn't have a finished product on a specific type of paper, so you could kind of see the difference between crap paper and not crap paper. So today I wanted to take you through and show you my newest piece of artwork that I did on an acrylic painting pad. Specifically this bad boy. The artwork that I was inspired to create this week had to do with an ocean scene and I'm not really sure why I had inspiration to do an ocean scene. I think it's because I've been watching just a bunch of random shark shows. I just all of a sudden have been on a kick for shark TV. But what's relevant to you in this case is that I did an ocean scene that required layers upon layers upon layers of paint, which is a good comparison to the uh, crap artwork I did on watercolor paper. Okay, so this is my crap painting. Like I am legit like not in love with this. Like you can make a paper airplane out of this and I'd be totally fine with it. It actually probably go pretty far because it's thick paper. I thought that it would be able to handle my acrylic paint pretty well, but it did not. So it has a bunch of divots on it and it's not straight and it's flimsy. The point is that the watercolor paper could not take the amount of liquid that's in my acrylic paint. And when I was trying to put painter's tape around it to make this cool border, it started out pretty nice and it was actually sticking. But then when I got more paint on the surface, it started bubbling up and even popping the tape up. Yeah, so it really was just a disaster. So I would not recommend painting on watercolor paper. And this is definitely not something I would want to sell to anybody. <laughs> I don't even have my name on it because it's just... Ugh. Put someone else's name on it. Now that would be a crime. Okay, so like I said, I did another painting on this. And this was only $20 on Amazon. And so I wanted to try it out. So I wanted to see if I could get better results than the watercolor paper. And I did. This is what we got. It's not the straightest in the world, but it's definitely something that I would sell to someone. It's still maintains its integrity. I don't really know how to articulate it. There's just a huge difference between this guy and this guy. And I don't think it's the quality of the painting. I'm pretty sure it's the quality of the paper. This is borderline like cardboard. It's pretty dope. And none of the painter's tape popped up. Now granted, it was a different painter's tape because the first painter's tape was Walmart painter's tape. The second painter's tape was probably painter's tape that I stole from somewhere because I really don't know where that came from. Sometimes I come into the possession of things and I don't really know how. One time in law school, I came into the possession of some duct tape and I thought the maintenance man was trying to kill me because he just left it in my apartment when he fixed the fridge or something, but he never came back for it, so it was mine. So I wanted to show you a little bit of the process of painting this ocean scene. So you can kind of see how many layers of paint I had to put down. One thing you might want to know about this specific brand of acrylic paint paper is that it absorbs your paint ridiculously fast. So, blending on it is really difficult. When I first started this painting, I thought, oh shoot, like I'm not gonna be able to blend anything because it was all absorbing. But this was one of those paintings where the more you put layers on, the better it became as far as blending and all of that. So that's why you would need multiple layers, like I said, um, or even a blending medium would work or a slow drying medium, maybe. But I didn't have any of those things. I just used my acrylic paint and it was fine. I also used a little bit of water and it took it like a champ. It didn't look like there were water spots. It didn't bend. But I do want to say at the end of the painting, I did notice there was a tiny bit of bubbling, but I really don't see where that went now. It was like right here. 
but I don't, I don't know. I guess it absorbed it. This is like the closets in like Narnia because your paint just like absorbs into it and who knows where it goes. Bubbling in one spot is way better than bubbling in like 55 different spots like my skyline painting on my watercolor pad did. Also in my other video, part one of this debacle, I talked about paint turds and there were zero paint turds. And so what I mean by paint turds, it is a legal definition of dried paint on your paper because the paper just simply can't absorb it so it just stays on top and turns into a little tiny ball. But there was no paint turds here and so that was pretty dope. Also, another thing that I talked about in the last video was palette paper and some people using palette paper as a canvas for your acrylic paint or actually painting on the palette paper instead of using it as a palette. I used mine as a palette. Is that still wet? Oh, I just put that on the carpet. Oh. Anyway, so I used mine as a palette and it turned out pretty well. And so if you only use one side of it, the slicky side, I mean, the blending is really, really pretty. I mean, I could see somebody painting on this, but it's so flimsy. Like, would you frame it? Would you just put it in like page protectors? Would you put it in your shoe? I don't know, I don't know, but it was really pretty as far as like blending goes. And it did not have divots, it didn't bend, nothing like that. So it does pretty good with your acrylic paint. But the downside is it did start to bend when I used it on both sides. So if you're super thrifty and you want to paint on both sides, it's 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 gonna look kind of gross. That's basically what your canvas, that's basically what your palette paper would look like. So all in all, I really, really liked the acrylic painting pad paper. If you're looking for an acrylic paper pad, an acrylic painting paper pad, then this would be your girl. So I hope that helped and I hope that kind of narrows down what kind of paper you're looking for if you want to paint with acrylics. So anyway, so let me know what you decide. Let me know if you like this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Don't like, don't subscribe, don't comment. Be true to yourself. Later.